Blackpool RTX with improved video encoding and decoding is here. AMD officially introduces Ryzen 5 9600 non-X also with more price cuts alongside this launch. AMD Navi 48 RDNA 4 GPU has been pictured. And lastly, AMD Radeon RX 9070 non-XT benchmark has been leaked. Okay, so first of all, we have from NVIDIA's blog post, we have the new GeForce RTX 50 series GPUs double creative performance in 3D video and generative AI. So of course, we already know that RTX 50 series is targeting the generative AI stuff and they're gonna focus on that a lot. But there's a more interesting part, especially for YouTubers out there, because you know, if you're a YouTuber, you, you would require to use a video editing software. And this time around, there's something interesting. As it states here, professional grade video for all GeForce RTX 50 series GPUs deliver a generational leap in NVIDIA encoders and decoders with support for the 422 Pro grade color format, MultiView H. EVC for 3D and virtual reality video and the new AV1 ultra high quality mode. So these are the three encoders we will be getting for advanced video editing, of course, and of course for 3D as usual. And adding encoders and decoders for 422 Pro Grade color format is pretty neat, not gonna lie there. So obviously we need the 422 Pro Grade format because it requires it gives us more details in terms of color accuracy as 420 is basically good enough for YouTube anyway, but 422 is going to be even better for more precision color accuracy. So I guess this is a good neat feature they're adding here. And not to forget live streaming is even better now with the new NVENC encoder. So we don't have to go into that because we already know that NVENC encoder is pretty damn good for live streaming. Next up we have the AMD officially launches their AMD Ryzen 5 9600 non-X of course. So obviously we already know 9600 XT exists a correction 9600x exist but yeah amd ryzen ryzen 5 9600 non-x is finally here and we also have the specs here because obviously it has been officially launched and well not available in the market yet but sh soon will be so let's look into the whole specs here so general specification we are looking at is that of course the naming they're going for amd ryzen 5 9600 it's a 6 core 12 threads processor of course and as you can see the boost clock is 5.2 gigahertz which is pretty damn good for a 65 watts processor as you can see the default tdp is 65 watts and the base clock we're looking at 3.8 gigahertz with l3 cache of 32 megabytes so not bad of course utilizing the tsmc's 4 nanometer and the 6 nanometer included there so no doubt about that they're going to remain with that node and of course unlocked for overclocking so no doubt about that it also supports amd x for memory overclocking technology and of course the precision boost overdrive and the newer addition of the curb optimizer voltage offset so you can also add that and all three of these i think they're they're supported in amd ryzen master so no need to worry about that just one click and you should have everything available and yeah they're also including the amd rate stealth cooler so not bad not only that we have some price cuts for the existing 9000 series of processor which is the 9600x getting a 12 percent price cut here getting at 245 dollars so we are seeing some trend that is going to go down in pricing so that's pretty good we also have the 9700x not a huge price cut only eight percent coming at 329 from 359 we also have that ryzen 9 9900x coming at 18 person price cut this is the biggest price cut we've seen for the 9000 series of processors coming at 409 basically 410 usds from 499 and lastly of course the 9950x similar price cut of eight percent 593 usd so not a huge price cut again but we're seeing the trend that is going down so link will be in the description if you're interested you can check them out and when this one is available i'll link it later and next up we have an interesting information from tom's hardware and basically tom's hardware hardware has summarized the all ces launches from amd and these are the all the socs or basically the silicon processors or even gpus that they have launched or will be launching are demoed here so let's look into the first one which is the fire range architecture we're looking at this one this is probably the mobile ryzen 9000 hx processor and yeah this one looks yeah decent we also have the strix halo the ai max 3000 series of course and yeah this is the die we are looking at here next up we have the kraken point and the hawk point this particular one is the kraken point the ryzen ai 300 and the ryzen 200 which is the hawk point right over here a bit smaller which is expected as hawk point is not the biggest of the biggest processors out there so yeah interesting and lastly of course the ryzen 9 x 3d which is going to be launching pretty soon as they have already showcased it in ces and the 9900x 
3D. So that's quite fascinating here right over there. These are the two identical versions of it, but yeah, they would look the same. One particular claim here is the 1950X 3D will be 20% faster in gaming and 10% faster compared to the Ultra 9 285K. So that is an interesting claim there. So we'll see about that. But we're looking into something interesting here. As you can see that there's one particular die which was unnoticed and wasn't mentioned this particular one is the navi 48 basically and this is right over here this is the navi 48 they're saying and the die size somebody has been has calculated this and compared to a 9950x3d as i can see that closely it's a 9950x3d we're looking at this particular die size of 30 millimeter times 13 millimeter so yeah interesting isn't it so this particular die size is bigger than the 8103 from nvidia nvidia 8103 so that's quite interesting it's bigger so i'm guessing this is probably the 9070 xt we are not for sure but we do know that in the next information we'll get is the benchmark and next up we have ign which is completely surprised here because this particular report comes from ign and basically a reporter jacqueline thomas has reported this that i benchmarked the amd radeon rx 9070 exactly the non xt of the 9070 not the xt of course so this is a, a bit tier low not the top of the line of course and i don't think they have any flagship so in that case 9070 xt is the flagship but we have the test results here so let's zoom into that and yeah let's look into it so it says call of duty black ops 6 here which is a benchmarking tool and we have a 99 fps on average we're looking at here as you can see the gpu score we're looking at 99 fps the low 50 is 77 and low first is 60 fps so that's quite fascinating and also we have some other information right over here it's running at 4k so the render resolution at 100 percent 4k with frame generation and no upscaling available so no frame generation and no upscaling available for this particular test here and it also has been tested with the amd ryzen 9 9950x 3d and the AMD RDNA 4 graphics. So basically, it doesn't mention because it has been, you know, inputted. They didn't really input any data about the particular GPU naming, of course, but they do confirm that it's a 9070. So I guess we have to take it for the word. So we're going to take it that it's a 9070 and it has been tested with Ryzen 9 1950X 3D. So that's fascinating here. And it has been giving us a score of 99 FPS on average. So for comparison, we have the Call of Duty Black Ops. 6 and tech power up benchmark here and rts 4090 to 24 gigs is hitting 102 fps so it's like not a huge gap here only one to two percent slower compared to rtx 4090 which is basically on par because one to two percent anything between one to five percent is between on par so we could say it's an on par with rtx 4090 the rx 9070 non-xt again not the xt non-xt because 9070 has been tested right over here getting obviously 99 fps so that is fascinating here that 90 rx 9070 is hitting the 4090 mark here as we know 5070 with upscalers hits 4090 like performance so i'm kind of confused here without the upscalers as you can see without any upscaling tech and frame generation this particular gpu which is a 9070 can hit 4090 without any trouble so my guess is that 9070 will outperform 5070 definitely without a doubt if you don't use any upscaler of course so my question is what about 9070 xt will it hit 5080 or 5080 ti like performance no idea but at least rx 9070 is reaching 4090 like performance at least from the call of duty black ops 6 results so this is fascinating and this is promising really promising so what do you think so yeah what do you think about this particular result here do you think AMD will pull it off at least for the 5080 competition because we know for sure that 5090 has no competition whatsoever even in the previous generation we didn't really have any solid competition from amd to combat 4090 so now we have 9070 xt can it compete with 5080 or 5080 ti we'll see about that anyway like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video soon